Now in this part of the question, the last part, we've got the equation of the curve and it is y equals minus x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2 and we've got to show that this root alpha is equal to 2.359 to 3 decimal places. And to do this, what I'm going to do is let the curve y equal some function of x. We'll call it f of x. And so in order to find or prove that alpha is a root 2.3593 dp, what we look for is what is called the change in sign method. Let me explain. What we've got here is if I was to do a number line and take the root alpha, as they say, which is 2.359. Let's just put that down here, 2.359. That's given to three decimal places. If I took the first number before this one to three decimal places, it would be 2.358. And if I take the next number up from here to three decimal places, it would be 2.360. Now if we're looking for our root alpha to be 2.359, to three decimal places, then there's going to be a minimum value and a maximum value halfway between these two values. So the lower bound, if you like, is going to be the value halfway between 2.358 and 2.359, which is going to be 2.3585. And the upper bound here, well, that's going to be 2.35. 9.5. And it's these two values that what we do is we put these values as values of x into the curve and find out what the corresponding y values are going to be. And if we do that, first of all, I'll explain what happens in a minute. If we just work out f of the lower bound, 2.3585, if we substitute it into here, we're going to have minus 2.3585 all cubed plus 2 times the 2.3585 and that's squared and plus 2. And if you work that out on your calculator, what you get is 0 0.005835 and so on. And what does this mean? Well, it clearly means that it's a positive value, very close to zero, and that is that if you took this point here, 2.3585, it comes out as a point above the x-axis. Very close though, I mean, I know I've magnified this here, but it's very close to the x-axis. Now we're going to take the point 23595, and what I'm hoping to find is that it is a negative value close to the x-axis, 2.3595. And if I find that, then I know that this must be a root in this interval. So we'll just do the upper bound, f of 2.3595. And if we do exactly the same, substitute this into the equation, minus 2.3595 all cubed then plus 2 times 2.3595 squared plus 2 what do we get if we do that on the calculator well we get minus 0 0.0014228 and so on a negative value and that's just what we wanted just below the x-axis so you can see that our curve has crossed the x-axis between this interval. So because there's been a change in sign, then to three decimal places, it must be closest to 2.359. So that's all we need to do in the summation. Okay, We just need to say, therefore, alpha equals 2.359 to three decimal places since
there has been a change in sign. Okay. So just put that in there since there's been a change cos theta in sign. or the quadrant method. All right. Well, I hope that gives you some idea how you cope with those kinds of problems. And that brings us to the end now of this question.